This is the uh, Proto Men at uh, Nerdapalooza 2013. Hi. Hi. Um, so tell me, how did you uh, how did you guys get your start? How did you become the Proto Men? It's a long story. It actually started many years ago, right in front of this sign right here. We all met. We were all working at the OCCC. Trans, Trans division. How did you forget? I, I didn't forget. I just okay. wanted to wanted to make sure I said it properly. It's a lot of sodas. I was riding by on a pony and I thought, hey, those dudes look like they could use a chick for a singer. And I said, well, what's up, girl? Or that's actually where the problem started. Uh, and my pony was needing some water, so we had to stop. Do you yeah. want a real answer? <laughs> and and that that was was okay, we can hey. run for hours like that. Uh, <laughs> Technically, we all started in college, and the band kind of grew from there as a ridiculous, fun robot rock opera, and it's just been picking up horrible steam since then. <laughs> horrible, terrible steam. Well, <laughs> it was a it was a, a, a project for school, yeah, yeah. and then it was a, a band that was pretty much everyone side project sort of a thing, and then. It took over and swallowed all the other projects, so here we are, so ten did. years later. Put them and eat other things around them. Sorry. Sorry. All right, cool. So did you guys, you guys all met in school then? Pretty yeah. much, yeah. So, um, so what were you going to school for? What was... Uh, recording. Recording? Mm, okay. Like That's that. why the first album sounds so nice. <laughs> Audio <it>. nice. <laughs> okay. Um, and you said, uh, you, you had mentioned robots. So is there a robot theme? Yes. This is what you're saying? Okay, so tell me about the, the ro- the, tell me about robots we are and the proto based on the 1987 classic Nintendo game, Mega Man. Okay. You like that? Like, it's you, good. I like how you use loosely. Like, loosely. loosely. Yeah. We are loosely based on it. We basically built our own story out of the existing storyline that they put out there mm-hmm. uh, throughout the years of bits and pieces of storyline they would throw out and we just kind of were like, all right, let's Pretty good premise, but it can be a lot meaner. And here comes our special guest for the evening. Special guest for the evening. Hello, special guest. Hey. Hi. Funny meeting you here. This guy's mustache is taking him to other places. <laughs> he has a Detroit hat. He believes in Michigan. Who is that? Yeah. Michigan's not going to be around much longer. Not going to be there. Oh, no? Yeah. We drove so, through there pretty there's, recently. There's this, we drove to Detroit. It's, 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 <laughs> not looking good? It's not looking I mean, good. It's, it's, it's old, was very nice. It's old mm-hmm. Detroit, so they'll, they'll make a... Make a new Detroit. What right. else was very nice? Grand Rapids was pretty good. Okay. Delta City. Delta, Delta City. Delta City. Delta City. Yeah, Delta City. That's the thing. It's all the way. I quite understand why Delta City isn't happening right now. Like, how is that? How is Robocop that much? Someone just has to buy old Detroit. Detroit. Well, I think didn't it take? Was, wasn't Robocop taking place in '97? Wasn't it 1997 or something like that? I thought it did. I don't I might. I, I don't remember having a year. Uh, Do you no? think of Terminator? Terminator was '97. Oh, Terminator was it? It was at one point, oh, then, but they keep becoming. Maybe. Uh, like, or you could be thinking of maximum, maximum Overdrive. That <laughs> was like overdrive. around '97. I think the only reason Brian I saw that film. Beethoven second. That was also awesome. uh, Beethoven the second. Yeah. It was. It, has to it was right seven. after the time it came out. Yeah. You know, yeah. I think the only reason I saw Maximum Overdrive was because of the uh, Green awesome. Goblin truck. Yeah. Oh, and it was it's awesome. Yeah, I forgot about that part. And yeah. Emilio Estevez. Emilio Estevez. Estevez. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing actor. Yes. Are you the mic an amazing dude. It's fuck that Iceland team. Yeah. Really, the coach wasn't. No, the team. No, the whole team. The whole, the whole team. team. They go to hell. They had more facial hair than the other teams. Rota Man will always be an- it will always be anti Icelandic like yeah, AAA That's racist. hockey. All right. Here's the situation though. There are no such thing as bad students, only bad teachers. And Miyagi told me that. Like personally? Yes, he is like like Pat Morita came over to my house before he died and said there are no such thing as bad students, only bad teachers. And you were like, sir, you really need to leave. That's what I told him. I was like, you're very drunk. Pat, you were drunk. Dude, I really, I really appreciate your entire acting career, and you're really awesome, even though you did, I don't remember the name of the movie, with him and Jay Leno. Collision Course. Man, that movie that was good. Wow. That, 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 that was deep. That was buried. Right. Yeah, and he does a sweet ending jump kick through the windshield into some guy's chest and it's kind of incredible 
what happened from the rest of the movie, guys? You could have written a whole other movie around another, you know. Proto Men will always be against Collision Course's second half. No, the second right. half is good. That's first what half. Decide. First, first half. half. We'll always be against that. Ah. I've always said that. But we're all for the entire movie of Twister. That movie's good the whole way through. Twister? It yeah. never gets old. Never. Okay, so since we're on the uh, since we're on movies, and I just realized that my even though I charged this camera, it is about to die. Awesome. Favorite movie of all time. Oh god! Uh oh. Next impossible. favorite movie of all time. That is impossible. That's, uh, okay. Jaws, Godzilla, uh huh, Halloween. <laughs> but that's okay. that one movie. Favorite movie of all time. Incredible Mr. Limpet. Favorite movie of all time. E.T. It might be Lost Boys. Lost okay. Boys? Lost Boys is pretty good. It's pretty damn good. I want to change mine to Lost Boys. I'm changing mine to Lost Boys, boys too. Lost, boy, Lost, Lost Boys 2? Well, Lost, Lost, no, Lost no, Boys. No. no. We'll get on to that. <laughs> yeah. The very last five minutes of Lost Boys 2 right? was like, holy crap, this movie, if it started right now, <laughs> would be great. Would be incredible. <laughs> it was such a badass starting of a, of a film. And then they're like, oh yeah, then that was just the end. That we crap, that we tacked on the end and didn't really worry about the rest of the crap ass movie. You know what that well, they had to bring him in before he died, I guess. So. Dude, they could have just made the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. Team of two. Don't you trash talk. Don't you dare trash talk it. Team of two. Team of two. Wait, is team, that? Teen Wolf or Tween Wolf? Team no, we're talking about that. Team, team, team Wolf 2 has Simeon Angel as the uh, montage jam for him studying. And that's one of the best songs that have ever been made. But you can't. Can't Jason just... Bateman, dude. It is Jason Bateman. He, okay, but he kind of failed. Okay, so now I have to know: Do you watch Teen Wolf, the what? television series? That doesn't yeah. exist. Uh, That's crap. I haven't <laughs> seen the Proto Men have always been against Teen Wolf, the television. <laughs> yes. It's like Ferris Bueller, said. the television show. That's just a band that that Tremors. <laughs> Tremors. Tremors. Tremors, the television show. We've television. always been against that too. Yes. But cool. Tremors, the movie, Tremors one and two. Do you know? Do you know that right now there's there when we left to come here. To play this rock and roll show, it, we were in the very beginning of three on a marathon. What? We watched the tail end of two. We had the three. Ass blasters, wasn't By it? now, they're right. probably on seven. Yeah. Uh, and I, I think they we'll get home started. just in time to watch Part the four last half of nine. I'd really like time, to see right? one. So I'd really like to start over because freaking Reba, man. Gotta watch no, three part was, three was the ass blasters back in time, right? So here's, no, that was four. So here's a question. Back in time. Part three was the shriekers. No, the shriekers e- every was every year, no, it was oh, ass Halloween, right. October, all these channels play all these My favorite horror movie. films, horror marathons. Is it just me, or are they just getting worse every which, year? Which, which ones? Well, here's which the channel? Thing. Uh, AMC. You need to create uh, your own. What movies have they played? They just play AMC's, like, AMC's doing they play okay. Focus, focus, and like The Shining over and over. It's not oh. like. Well, you know. no, no. I was uh, a couple <laughs> days ago. We were somewhere, and I went to eat at a bar next door, and they were playing uh, Friday the Thirteenth Part Five, which I was fine with eating my burger mm-hmm. and my taco. No, it was Taco Tuesday. My Taco Tuesdays and watching um, Friday the 13th Part Five. I'm fine. Here's the thing. That's okay. me. You though. don't get gamblers started on horror films because I love them and mm-hmm. watch them year round, even when it isn't Halloween. Mm-hmm. So I think you should just create your own horror film marathon. Your own it should be a marathon. horror film channel. You don't. You gotta know. Well, there, we had, there's what's there's it called? What's it called? There is, but they're terrible. What, I know what you're talking about. I've watched it before. There's well, like the Fear Net Fear and all Network. that. Well, they're almost, well one of them yeah. is owned by Sci-Fi Channel, apparently, so oh, that kind of tells God, you right that there. That narrows it yeah. down to shit, yeah. doesn't it? So it's like, you know, and it's, it's, it's crazy because back in the day you had straight-to-video horrors that were actually good. Right. Now they're like straight-to-TV and they're freaking and garbage. straight to is even worse. Because you know? they put in the so. really bad CG into stuff instead of just making... Yeah, just cower. I gotta just fucking hang out and make some goddamn real blood. A real look. Yeah, right? Blood. No. That's all I gotta do. Okay, how That's many of you have seen Sharknado? I haven't seen it. I haven't. I've heard, heard about it. It <laughs> looked awful. Yeah. Ian Ziering. The preview looked awful. Has there Ian Ziering in it? I don't know anyone else who's in that movie that is has a name. Who's Ian Ziering? The guy from, one of the guys from 90210. Oh, okay. Blonde dude that was probably good looking oh. back then. <laughs> I didn't watch it. Wait, the, okay, the main, like the old, uh, so one of the two Dude, yeah, man. of yeah, 90210, not Johnny Depp, the, the, guy, guy, the guy with the curly Mr. hair. Wind. Johnny Depp was in 90210? I don't even remember. Wait, not 90210. No, I'm thinking no, about He was in 21 Jump Street. Street. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Sorry, Blood. Yeah. I didn't really watch 90210. It's crap. I watched it in some way. I'm not going to say it's crap. Because you're a girl. I didn't watch it. I only watched it a little bit. I was little when that came out. I didn't really care about boys then. 
I did. <laughs> Wait, what? God oh. knows you did. <laughs> I was watching, you know, Saved by the Bill. Yeah. Manatuno was like a little too, like, whatever. Okay. <laughs> Saved by the Bell. Zach or Slater? Slater. Slater. Clearly, right. we yeah. stole them. Slater. Like Zach's pretty awesome. There. Zach? Okay. Zach's pretty awesome. I like Slater because he has his own way to sit in the chair. That when you okay. sit in the chair that way and you say, I'm going to Slater sit in this chair, everybody yeah. knows the fuck you're he talking invented, about. He invented, he invented that way of sitting. Way of sitting. What? What, what, did, what did Mark Paul go off of? Mario uh, Lopez he invented looks cell really good. He still looks great. So. Yeah, he looks the same. Mario Lopez. Uh, so does so Both does of them. Zach. Both of them They're still look the same. Screech. Screech was porno to save his house. Oh, Come on. Screech. Selling well, did it save his house? I don't know, but he did a oh. porno to save it. I know that much. Well, I hope it worked. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, he seems Screech's to be very penis. good dude. I'm just gonna the proto men have always been against Screech's penis. <laughs> I've said that before. Nobody needs to see that. That's I called like against it. I don't need to see it. Not against not, not my, Never mind. I think we should <laughs> officially... Sorry, you're going with You know, if you put Screech and Penis together, you get Screeches. 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 Well, we actually wrote a song called No Screechy Pain, and it kind of... Um, it's kind of about that. Yeah, and it's going straight up the charts. Really? <laughs> Number one with a bullet. <laughs> Screechy. Awesome. Screechy Pain. You know, Screechy this camera's pain. pretty amazing because it's... Tell me it has no battery, but it's recording. It's it's like, let's, can yeah. we just run it up? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, that's, that's that's what so that's what we're doing. So we should do like a you know like a PSA right at the end, like in sure. the olden days. Sure. I, I don't know no, when the end's going to be. He's not going to. I've actually never had oh. this camera run out on me, but I think I've used it so much oh. today that. So you treat it good. I treat it good. It hasn't run out on you. But I yet. but I recharged it after I spoke to you, and it's now it's you know just not. It's good. You know, but it's yeah. hey, it's Here's still here. Zach Morris gave you cell phones and timing out of conversation. Yeah, and he did have what was the band. Zack Attack. Zack Attack. Zach Attack. Okay. And he, so he can just Zach. stop everybody, everybody in time, and continue his thought. It's true. At the camera. It's That's true. power. That is power. Just saying. There is a lot of power. Well, I, like I want to change my answer to Zach Morris. Yep, change it. Yeah. It is officially changed to Zach Morris. I want to change my let, answer. Let the me. world know. Kelly Kapowski, holy crap, the hottest thing ever. She's pretty. No, she's the hottest thing ever. Wait, and who's the one that did uh, Showgirls or the oh, Jesse. Jesse. Elizabeth. Jesse yeah, whatever happened to Jesse? Uh, Elizabeth Berkeley. Yeah. Showgirls, right? That, that, that's all. That's what happened. Thing. We're gonna she talk about this in a second. Okay, that, go ahead. I'm Jesse. pretty sure yeah. was Paul Verhoeven's worst movie. Yeah, he did do that. Yeah, he did. And that doesn't even make sense. It doesn't make sense. What? He watched that movie because he, he did the Basic like Instinct. All right. No, he was trying to bring back his. I want you know, his like sexy, sexy avant garde, sexy, 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 uh, uh, basic instinct round two, and it just didn't quite work. No, it because work at all. Like, he got Jesse Spann. That's why <laughs> she was attractive, but it, it's just I don't know. But that she was, was all tall. he was. Frodo men have always been against tall women. I said <laughs> we're pretty much all the same height. If you look across the band, we are we are and statistically one, the, a short band. The one dude who is taller, we. He doesn't play any. You got rid of that he goes guy. Goes out in front. Yeah. And he says a thing. <laughs> comes out at the end. We don't really let him. Can't talk to him. No. Can't relate to that guy. We don't. He just shows up, plays You're... an instrument, and leaves. He doesn't do that. Oh, he doesn't even do that. Can't, oh, he's... can't relate to him at all because he's too tall. All right. He's on a different level. That's right. Sony. Totally on a different Caucasians level. Caucasians are just too damn tall. <laughs> so. What do the proto men do when they are not like proto men? What's any hobbies? Video games, comic books. What do we do? Toy we collecting. We mostly just do proto men stuff all the time. stuff. So you are robots. Done. You're just yes. doing the same thing. Yeah, basically. Robots. That's about it. Proto men things all day, every day. But that, was in, that includes all those things you say. So it's just part of it. All right. So. Cool. So what are uh, the proto men doing after Nerd Palooza? Is there you guys Chicks. got another show? Chicks. Good answer. <laughs> Chicks. Good answer. Uh, Chicks. You want to go get some crystal Zach chicks? Zach Morris. Crystal yeah. chicks are awesome. Crystal I chicks. want to change crystal my answer chicks. to crystal chicks. I want to change my answer to Mr. Bunning. Uh, can we talk wait. about crystal chicks? Okay. Um, can we talk about crystal chicks enough? We do have one more show. We have a show in Atlanta. Uh, I don't know that we want to be endorsed by crystal. I do. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Crystal chicks are awesome. Except so that they, they, the they put that white gunk on it. Uh, it's I can called mayonnaise. I wouldn't call that mayonnaise at all. Mayonnaise. It could be mayonnaise. From the Isle of Man. Yeah. The real problem is that Crystal, as of right now, they used to have t- Tabasco packets in all of Crystal. Mm-hmm. And you have to have Tabasco packets for your Crystal Chicks because it's the best. And here lately, they've decided some asshat at Crystal 
said, we don't really need Tabasco anymore. We should just make our own hot sauce or we license it out from, I don't know, Louisiana Hot Sauce Company or some crap. Okay. Get. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, that's your always that's been <laughs> except for Louisiana hot sauce. I gotta take that back. But always, it's a really good company, and the people who run it are just gents. Not Louisiana hot sauce. But I don't understand why you're complaining because you carry a bag of different hot sauces with you everywhere. So you do that too? Should uh, look at me. He does. should I have to? <laughs> You do it well, anyway. No, but it's it's great that you do. Yeah. Listen, I have a condiment drawer at home that my girlfriend hates. I can't even fit all my hot sauces in an entire cupboard That's or true. refrigerator. It's true. It's true. We have and a separate one for every type of food. No, that's, a, that's a lot. Oh. It's quite a lot. I'm, awesome. I'm proud of my it's collection. It's a disease. But I shouldn't oh. have to do that. There was one tour People where he, should he, have he hot couldn't sauces. stop. He just he was oh, bad. I've, on this tour, I bought probably... 15 to 20 bottles of hot sauce that are now sitting in the bus. Commander made his own hot sauce recently, and that shit was... Yeah, it was good. Really, really, really? good. Yeah. It was hot. You can look for it on stores, on shelves. It's actually, wherever he's back. I've actually he got ghost pepper. Proto, proto yeah, hot sauce? Right now. No, it's... Proto the, sauce? The sauce of Commander. <laughs> Commander sauce. Commander sauce. Commander, Commander sauce. sauce? I like Command sauce. So give us... A, is this a secret recipe, or do we get ingredients? I'm not telling you what's in it. Oh, okay. Aside from... Fancy mutton pepper stools. I think they're. Mu- I don't think they're. Stool. He just said stools. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he just said. Hand grown Hand peppers grown. from Honduria. That from Honduria. And a little bit of habanero. And things I'm not going to tell you about. All right. Robot things. Yeah, There's robot no label. Things. Just look for the little seat in the corner of the bottom. That's all just it is. Yeah. Yeah. No. I just copyrighted the bottle. Oh. That's right. It's I've actually, always been against copyright. I've said that before. There you go. Yeah, it's too hard to deal with. Too hard to copyright. I remember back in the day, you just put something in an envelope and sent it back to you, and it was considered copyright. I mean, technically, See, we just send that's still will work. Mm-hmm. Oh, and then really? anybody, I mean, that, well, anybody that rips us off, we just drive yeah, to their house. It and works only so up. far. Uh, yeah, it's been pretty cool because, like, that's how we got real buff. We just beaten up a lot of kids that have like been like, hey, I'm gonna cover life the night. Oh. Anyway, we get into band brawls a lot. Well, we haven't. We we've, we've been looking at we it. We've been too. dreaming we've about it. Too. So, so how many? So how many? Oh, so you plan to be on band brawls? So you haven't actually been in any yeah, we band brawls. Can't find brawls. a band to fight us. You got to go to um, Roadhouse, like where Patrick Swayze yeah. was. Patrick Swayze. Uh, yeah. Can I change my favorite movie answer to Roadhouse? Yeah. I want to change my answer to Roadhouse. I'm going to change my answer to Roadhouse. You too. know, it does have the best <laughs> death Roadhouse scene too. I've best ever sex. seen. Okay. Ever. The fucking throat. Uh, <laughs> ever. I mean, if the if the the blade in the boot was not awesome. It's enough. not even that. It's whenever he has. You know? It's whenever he has. What's his name? The the main. Sam Elliott. No, the no. main main evil dude that he shouldn't have been fighting because the guy was like sixty five or something. <laughs> and oh. it's Patrick Swayze versus like a sixty five year old man. Like what kind of fight is that? Either way, when he he finally cools down and he's about to rip his throat out and he's all pissed off and he like he lets the hand down, but like the shot with his hand back there and he's like, oh, it's beautiful. Can you talk about how that well, talking about Patrick so powerful? That's a good movie. But when you talk about Patrick Swayze, you talk about beauty. It's Patrick yeah. Swayze. Can we talk about that? Right. Beauty and power. Why was that guy so powerful? And no that's because he's Patrick Swayze. Swayze. No, 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 the bad guy in that movie. <laughs> how did he have all that money? He was he was ripping off dying businesses. He's from Texas. He well, has no, he money. Was, he was he he built the town. Everything's big in Texas. Money's big. He bought everybody's land out for money, way too cheap. And then he started bringing in businesses who were buying that land. Basically, he was trying to build up the town with him in the middle of it. He was doing a pretty good job of it. Until but Swayze came. Until Swayze came along. He put himself too much out there. He's too easy to find. Them. Well, you know, if he never tried to beat up Swayze for banging his yeah. old lady, he never would have had any of those problems. He would have kept ruling. Okay, here's one for you. Patrick Swayze or Lorenzo Lamas from Renegade in a fight. Who, who wins? The Swayze. Any day. Swayze? Now we're talking about Lorenzo Lamas, the no. Renegade. Yeah. Yeah. All I want to change my answer to Swayze. Yeah. <laughs> There's pretty much no He's scenario been working on that one for Patrick while. Swayze would win. Yeah. Unless it's up against Kurt Russell. What? Kurt Russell have always well, been against yeah, Lorenzo Kurt, Lamas. I've Kurt Russell's that. pretty pretty amazing. Snake Bliskin. Yeah, pretty much everything he's ever done. Overboard. Mm-hmm. No, overboard. That, most dude, overboard. That, I want to change my answer that, to Overboard. That, that, uh, my answer. The shoe that, thing that he. That, that movie's the, awesome. The, the shoe yeah, the thing. shoe thing. That thing is amazing. I want a shoe thing. I want Captain one of those. Captain Ron. Captain Ron. I want to be the lady. The and shoe I want thing. To find me and build me a shoe thing. Yeah, that shoe cabinet. We gotta awesome. knock your ass out and throw you over. 
It's not a boat. And then yeah. he has to. I have to bridge Oh, I'll tell you. Yeah. yeah. I'll tell you yeah. right and now. And he has to fish you out. If then, you were in. Had to be some what's kind the name of, of that town? Tom. Where did we go to Walmart last? Debutante. Oh, oh, hang on. I'm going to get it. It uh, was in Gainesville. Gainesville. All right. If you live in Gainesville, right now, you can go to the Walmart and go up to the counter. You don't even need to look for it. Just go up to the counter and at the checkout, Tango and Cash combo pack. DVD and Blu-ray for like five dollars. Whoa! Five dollar Walmart bins. Tango and Cash is Wait, why would you buy a DVD and Blu-ray if you can play Blu-ray? Oh, if you need it, if, if you need, need to take it to your friend's house, that is a this I mean, I don't have a Blu-ray player, but you sell the if Blu-ray I own one, I would never. Ah! Make your own money back. Now I gotta say, oh, go ahead. What were you gonna Nothing. say? Nothing. I would say that's a good point. Tango and Cash, great movie. Nah, Robert Zadar is the bad guy. But have you seen that new? Movie coming out with Schwarzenegger, with Schwarzenegger and Sloan es- yeah, Escape Plan. Plan. That's yeah. Tango and Cash. It looks really, really it looks good. better yeah. than Tango and Cash. Well, yeah, it's it here's like 20 years later. My two favorite people uh-huh. in a movie together mm-hmm. for Tango and Cash, mm-hmm. and somehow the movie sucks. What happened, dudes? What did you? Why? Why did you write a script? Good. Yeah, the poster was great. The thing is, the movie should have been amazing. I think the characters should have been flopped, like switched. Oh, well, yeah? Back I think, to... I think Stallone... Nah, you say that. There should have just been two... Stallone was just trying to be the tight wide. It should have just been Tango and Tango. It should have been Tango, tango and Tango. Tango and Tango. <laughs> yeah. Tango. You know, I just thought tango of something. Twins. Kurt Russell and... Um, Samuel oh, Jackson. Uh, Meg Ryan. No, 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 no. Oh, uh, um, Herbert Hoover. No, I just totally oh, lost uh, what coming. I was thinking. Hold on. <laughs> Kurt Russell... <laughs> um, James oh. Big Trouble in Little China. Yeah, what about it? Yeah. Great, movie, great movie or... I want to oh, change my answer Freaking to Big Trouble in Little China. Go, John go Carpenter, pan. dude. Okay. Go the pan. man shits gold. It's all in the reflexes. Well, he used to shit used gold. used to shit gold. Okay. His newest movie is pretty good. Had lots of hot girls And his son is a renowned musician. Oh, my God. That's right. He is. Jump, jump. Shh. Wait, Just we next subject. Next subject. I've always <laughs> been for John Carpenter. <laughs> we like John Carpenter. We love John Carpenter. Pretty obvious in our music, so sort of obvious. Sort of obvious. Obvious. If you learn, if you like our like storyline, if you read the storyline, then it's pretty obvious. Cool. Can we talk about how I've been doing this entire interview pantsless behind a? Uh, um, that's I'm pretty sure that's pantsless. Oh, I've, I've actually been Thank trying. You to the OCC. I've actually been trying to, to get that, but my my lens is only so small. Yeah. So, oh yeah. You know. But uh, all right, so we covered Kurt Russell. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Sylvester Stallone, yeah. Schwarzenegger. Amazing stuff. Um, oh, yeah. what Schwarzenegger? We should probably talk Patrick about Patrick Swayze. Yeah, what? Well, back second. Up. Speaking of oh, Schwarzenegger, okay. brought oh. Schwarzenegger back to our life. So. Okay, go ahead. We have a thing coming out in a couple weeks. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, a thing called Terminator the Second. Now, it's not necessarily ours, but we were involved with it. Some friends of ours uh, took the script from Terminator Two and said. Shakespeare, and they replaced, replaced everything all with Shakespeare. Dialogue. Legit Shakespeare, not right. just I have a but real stuff. And they said, "Ah, let's put it on as a play." Now ah, let's have the Proto Men come in and be the SWAT team. The let's have the Proto Men make some music for it. And I did all the makeup. She did all the makeup. <laughs> so this happened a few years ago, two years ago. A bunch of thirty-year-old men. In a high school auditorium with <laughs> shit ass props being serious. It was awesome. It's pretty awesome. It they re- really is. Now, is this on video? I they recorded, they recorded a bunch of different and, angles oh, over all the nights. Yeah. Okay. And put it together as a movie, mm-hmm. and it comes out with our soundtrack on November 1st. So it's a awesome. DVD of the live performance. It's not a DVD, technically. Well, there will be download. more audience. Digital download. It's a digital download. Digital download. download. <laughs> is this going to be on your website? No. Yeah, it'll no? be linked. We'll, we'll post something on the website. So, protoman.com, where you really find it to make sure you get it mm-hmm. is TerminatorTheSecond.com Okay. Terminator the second. Yeah. Ter- Ter- Terminator the second. Terminator the second. I want to change my answer to TerminatorTheSecond.com Now you have to spell out the second. T-H-E-S-E-C-O-N-D. That's true. No shortcuts. No shortcuts. No shortcuts. Okay. Because you know who didn't take shortcuts? William Shakespeare. Never. But did we take shortcuts with this project? Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Question. Robot, robot, not a robot, maybe a robot. Well, okay. What, okay, is, what, what, okay. Is, what does the ro- I want to clear robot. this up. Robot. I want to clear this up okay. for everybody who wants to know. Okay. The singers aren't silver. Right. So you guys are not robots. We represent or humans are ah. sometimes. Okay. In the past. Robots don't sing. Robots can't sing this thing very, very poorly. We've it's always been against robot singing. And if they do sing, it's a sample. It's not really them singing. Right. 
Or like some auto tune shit. Okay. I did vocoder tonight. It's true. You heard him sing tonight. And I'll tell you, that leads me to our too. next thing. Oh yeah. Um, tonight I sang vocoder on a song that's brand new from the Proven mm -hmm. that will be released in roughly two weeks. About the same, pretty much the same two yeah. days that's of. That's true. The it's gonna be a hefty weekend. Mega yeah. Man. 25th anniversary album that Capcom put out or is putting out has pudding. a new pudding has a new jam from us called Built to Last. That Built to Last. Built, Built to, to last. last. That one. And so we also on that album. It's a pretty sweet jam though. You should listen to it. You should download I listen it. to it for sure. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to them. Oh, I mean <laughs> you guys that are watching world, this in the world. But yeah, me too. I'm gonna listen to You're it. Better. Yeah. So here's the situation. Not only is that on there, but a fancy new mix of Will of One from our first album, and the only place you can get that is from that album. Fancy new mix of Will of One. Also, an updated mix with new instrumentation of Breaking Out that was previously only available on cassette tape, and that's been sold out for quite a while. So if you want those things, you better get it before the internet breaks and you can't get it anymore. And it's a compilation with a bunch of other bands. and yep. Bit Brigades on some there. Some of our friends with them, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Arm Cannon. Uh, uh, Mega, Mega Ram. Ram. Megas. Uh -huh. Mega. uh, and the OC. Some good people. Fox That's remix. a different album. It's a different record. Uh, uh, Helen Hunt. Helen no, Hunt. I'm, just, I'm sorry. Doing I'm really thinking good. about Twister oh, I want again. to change my answer to Helen Hunt. <laughs> X Hunters, I think. X Hunters is on there, yeah. Uh, I think that's it. Bill Paxton. Bill Paxton. Sorry, Bill Paxton. Twister again. Bill Paxton about is pretty great. Bill Paxton was in Terminator. People are going to have to wait mm -hmm. through an hour and a half of us talking about like awesome old movies the before thing. they get to anything we, actually like proto related. Can you reverse this thing? Can you like put that? In actually, this is great. This is, this is wonderful. We collectively, but as a fan, love <laughs> movies probably more. I can just like no. take the audio out and put in my own my own audio and just answer for you guys. You can just be like, yes, we love. Something. Oh, like, <laughs> corn. We love sure. corn. Like, oh, wait, wait, wait. Like, wait, wait. Lip reading now? I don't know. We love apples. Oh, I can just. Okay, make I thought you were talking about the apples. band, and I was about to get pissed. No, not the band. I would. I would never do that. Do that to us. No, I, 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 would, I wouldn't us. do that to anybody. Um. So. We've always been against corn. I've said that. <laughs> but you love um, apples, especially. It's true. Honey crisp. Then apples. Have you ever had a Honeycrisp apple? No, but it sounds I amazing. I would like to change my answer to Honeycrisp apple. <laughs> yeah. It's the most unbelievable. Describe it, describe it for me, because I don't even think I can. It's like... It's like... Sweet? No, it's like if... if Honey. Oh, somehow it, crisp. No, it's, it's like mixed if... Mixed with an apple. If... God just, like, just spit in your mouth. I think that's probably what it's like. S sounds... Honeycrisp apple. I want to change my answer to God spit in my mouth. Oh, okay. That would be a good answer. I'm not changing my Favorite answer. fruit, come on. This is what we're on now. Oh, favorite, we're on fruit. favorite fruits? Oh, oh. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> First of all, doesn't matter. But I found a new favorite food <laughs> <laughs> yesterday in Gainesville. I went to the uh, watermelon, tool, ta apple, tool shed, taco uh, shed, whatever. Banana? Where, uh, the fruit the taco? Wait, wait, wait. Favorite fruits? Obviously, freaking peppers, dude. Uh, yeah, technically yeah. he's correct. Yeah. He's but I discovered a new food yesterday that you guys have probably had a million times. I've never had. And they're prawn chips. Uh, Wait, fish blew fish? my fucking mind. Fish made of shrimp? Prawn, prawn chips. chips. That is no way of fruit. It was so well, I said that. I said, I can't decide of a fruit. So let's switch to a new shrimp, food to have. Shrimp chips. They're these round and they, they curve up. And oh, Fritos. No. And Bugles. And like, I don't know, fucking shrimp, gator juice. It's a Florida thing. Yeah, it's a Florida thing. Yeah, I don't drink Gator Asian, juice. But they're Asian. Asian. People here Florida. serve them at restaurants. Fronts I've never had them before. Like I've never heard of that. That's never heard of that. Everything you said is badass. Just, I've never heard of that. It blew my fucking mind how good it was. And Have you ever heard of a spaghetti squash? Yes, actually, I cooked them. Damn it. I bet you do. I've been trying. I told him about oh, spaghetti no, squash and I ate that, right. but I was making this vegetable up. Making it up. Spaghetti squash are amazing. You're lying. You're lying. You... I don't know how you, you got guys, to him. Got together, but clearly you paid this man off. I don't have any friggin' money. I have spaghetti squash <laughs> stories. <laughs> no, I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. My pockets are empty, sir. Come on, here. Let him know. Uh, so, what'd you say? Next show is what'd you say? Game, uh, Monday, Atlanta. 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 Yeah. Uh, vinyl. With Bit Brigade. Vinyl. Mm -hmm. 
cool. They're also wildly they are. entertaining. They are. Oh, yeah. And very nice fellows. Good. That's the last time they're doing Mega Man 2. Dude. Yeah, it's true. It's the last time they're, they're, they're retiring that show. I mean, they may do it probably at some other time, but they're, it's not in their repertoire so much. Anymore. I can't tell you. I, I, I don't know if... I, I know what they're doing next, but you can't tell them. It's exciting. It's exciting if they can get Keep it Keep your eyes on Big Brigade. If they can get this next thing they're doing, they're trying to get in like they 45 minutes. They are such minutes. a fun band. Cool. Their whole thing is they play a game live, and then the band plays yeah, one the music. Super... One's a real kid. fucking good kid at Nintendo. He's incredible at playing games, and he just blasts through a game. And they project it on the screen, it. and so they look at it and say, oh, we're in this level, and they count off, and they play the music from that level. And they play it like a fucking rock band. Yeah. Awesome. Which makes a world of a difference. It's Amazing. awesome. It's pretty fun. Yeah. Cool. All right. We are coming to 30 minutes. Jeez. So, Christmas. I don't know when this camera is going to just may never break end. down I'm on me. Starving. So, do you guys have any last yeah. words? Yes, I do, but I forgot them. One, and a two, and a three. Last words. Go to (laughs) protoman.com. Last words? I want to change my answer back to overboard. (laughs) Last words? Twister's the best movie ever. Okay, I want to change my answer back to Twister. Okay, I'm going, I'm going back to Captain Ron. I want to go to Aunt Meg's and eat something. God, Big Trouble, Little China, and (laughs) Captain Ron. Lost Boys still rules. Probably the best vampire movie. That That's is true. bullshit that ever comes out now. You yeah. know, our drummer had never seen Lost Boys. How does we that happen? We had to show that to him because he's like ten years younger than me. That's wow. why. <laughs> he's not that. I mean, he needs, he's, he's young. He comes from an area where they just don't educate people properly. Yeah. <laughs> they don't have. <laughs> they're horrible people. Down there. <laughs> they don't have movies. Yeah. They just don't they like do good do movies. No television. They, they really like treat everyone. Lost Boys With, is probably the best vampire movie ever. Yeah. Fucking Twilight bullshit. Maybe that and Interview with the Vampire after yeah, that. Oh, yeah, that is good. The Proto Men have really always good. been against Twilight. Yeah, yeah I I take that's true. That shit's awful. Speaking of Interview with the Vampire, when you guys mentioned that, like, Interview with the Vampire made vampires like kind of sparkly and stuff, kind of like Twilight. Is it just it me? Or, just or made them sexy. Yeah, kind of. A little more sexy, it, This was sexy, sexy. But, it was sexy, sexy. I mean, it had all the things, you know, they couldn't be out in the day all and all that they, shit. They, they didn't sparkle. They didn't even, well, maybe not, maybe not sparkly, but they are kind of like, you know, all frilly and kind of like all like... Well, well yeah. it's because yeah. the stat was from, you know, Victorian era. It's because you had... When it was fancy. Right. Mm-hmm. And there were people that it's ran... You know, is, it, is, it, is it because is it because Brad Pitt is so hot? Is that what it is? That was oh. what it was. Brad Pitt's just so fucking good looking. You that can think of it. Yeah, he had that long Tom hair. Right. The right. other vampire that they meet later. Right? I don't know. Talking about Antonio Banderas. Antonio Banderas is hot. Yes. yes. Yeah. Oh, that's right. He was it's there. all beautiful it's people. That's what happens. But then Twilight came out, and Twilight made it like they killed it. Right. They just went overboard with it. Like what's yeah. Robert Pattinson is not a good looking man. He is outside of that. All of those other men mm-hmm. are super hot anyway. But then there's another so one that looks like a llama. Oh, okay. there's a llama. Wait, a Lorenzo? Lorenzo llama. Llama? Oh, and then the Mario no, Lopez. Like the, the, the other dude is <laughs> like a Mario is. Lopez. Like the werewolf. Or whatever. It should have just cast Mario Lopez. Yeah. It really should have. And Zach Morris. And Zach Morris. Yeah. It should have really been a reunion. What's the name of the wolf guy? He should have been. The wolf guy? And then the Twilight shit. It's not Lorenzo. Oh, Jacob or something like that? Damn it. I thought it was Lorenzo. Yeah, it's Jacob. Long. No, he just looks like a llama. He just looks like a llama. Okay. okay. Yeah, he's awful. We really think they should go back and do all the Twilight movies again with the entire cast from Saved by the Bell. Pretty yeah. much. That would Probably actually, I would watch that. I would totally Everyone watch that. Everyone would watch that. It would be so much it. better. I, I would totally watch that. That would be actually pretty amazing. And all the did. women would give themselves to Zack at some point and he would make them all vampires yeah. at some point. Yeah. He would have to be what Dracula. So wait, Zack would be the vampire yeah, and Slater would be the werewolf. Right. Is that what you're right. saying? Exactly. Zach Kapowski would be wow. Bella and then you could do it. Lisa be Turtle beautiful. would be um, That's a good movie. Uh, I don't know. That is a good it. movie. Uh, what's her butt? Don't ask me, I've never seen the it. The lead vampire chick. She's obviously seen this shit. I don't know. I have nieces. <laughs> We've always know. been against nieces. I've said that from yeah. the beginning. You said Foot it. to the face. Okay, so last words, part two, since we're still here. Go. Ah, oh, I forgot. Kurt Go. Russell. Go. <laughs> I'm going to change my answer back to say by the bell. Okay, I'm going I'm going back to Stallone now. All right. Bill Paxton. Oh, I'm just thinking about Twister again. Expendables should be better. Yes. Oh, man. We're, we're talking about back. the new machete. <laughs> we're talking about the new machete. Machete. Okay, machete. Oh, good. Don't talk about it. it. All right, let's go. No machete. It was beautiful. No spoiler, but Lady Gaga is fucking horrible in it. She does run that movie. It <laughs> yes. should have been anybody from Saber. I kind of expected so. that. Or Goldie Hawn. Yeah. Goldie Hawn could have been in that movie. Kelly Kowalski. 
Yeah. It's really good. If you haven't seen it, it's really good. Can we just really get good. Tiffany Amber Thiessen back on the market, Amber Thiessen. please? I like her to be back on the market. You know what I'm oh, saying? yeah. Billy <laughs> Idol. They finally played something good. From your generation. We're playing some yeah, good it is from my generation. We're playing Billy Idol. Oh, the like, first tour I ever like saw was this Bowie tour. Was like 18? Proud of men have always been against old people. I've said that before. Yeah, I'm sorry. Last question. Oh, no. I said that. Even though even though we've already had last words twice. Oh yeah. Are the protomen so powerful that one day they will break the internet? Yes. Oh what we did tonight. We did. Uh, during yeah, our live stream did. crumbled. Well, oh, lots, you know why? lots of times our live streams do crumble. You know why? Why? Because you should get your ass to a rock and roll. Right. Show. Don't you freaking watch, watch it on, it on your freaking couch. Killing me. Watch it on a live stream. The sound's never good. Live stream never, never does anybody any favors. It's here's the thing, I appreciate the concept of it. But good lord, it just never works out. So don't expect it to work out. Just get your ass to a rock show. That's all it takes. Not that hard we to do not want to hear anymore that this no is your first show pine. you've ever seen. We appreciate that, and that's great and everything. But we get that a lot. Get to Go rock to shows. Fucking rock shows, children. It's gotta be the first. Do you understand what's happened to the freaking recording industry at this point? It has taken over. By morons. Morons. <laughs> just awful crap. Rumble. Rock and roll. People are letting rock and roll die right now because you're not going to rock shows. Get your ass out there and do something. Unless the rock band sucks. Because then there's a lot of shitty rock bands out there. So avoid those. And they're killing rock and roll just the same. They're killing Because someone goes out and sees that and they're like, oh, this is what rock and roll bands are? Why the fuck am I watching this? I can sit at home and listen to Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. <laughs> Lady Gaga to make it a 66. That's what happens. I want one of those. I think this interview needs to end. We no, I I, I'm surprised this point, hasn't died. At this point, we're we're on a roll here. All right. You are on a roll. This I'm, is actually pretty great. But we can end so it right hungry. here. So, hungry. so, if you guys want to say goodbye. No, Terminator the second dot com. Capcom 25th anniversary rock and roll album. Protoman.com slash tour. No, you just say Protoman.com and figure Proto it out. Get on the mailing list. Get on the freaking mailing list. If you like our band... Find out about what we're doing, because I send out a mail. I spend countless hours writing shit, and I hate writing shit. He does. When I write it, just freaking read it. Don't skim it. Just don't skim it. Just read the damn thing. It takes maybe two minutes. It takes maybe two minutes. All his just, mailers are pretty hilarious. Just freaking read it. It's right, and it takes no time. It takes no time. Can I say? Proto men have always been against long, ridiculous interviews. <laughs> From the beginning. I have to give you a website as well. Everybody else, uh, meatspin.com. <laughs> All right. Uh, wait, wait. A new Pepsi commercial that's coming out that's really freaking good is uh, it's it's their new style of Pepsi. It's called it's like lemon Pepsi. Pepsi? Yeah. It's, oh no, it's like you. They, I don't know if they should do like a squeeze of lemon or whatever. But it's just the new website and the new commercial, or whatever. It's lemonparty.org. Check that out. <laughs> it's just a great commercial. Unless you're like under 18. And if you're under 18, you definitely don't want to go see that Pepsi commercial. <laughs> or if you're easily offended, don't see that Pepsi commercial. Because, or if your parents are around, don't see that Pepsi commercial. Or if you're at work, don't see the Pepsi commercial at lemonparty.org. Or if you vomit easily and you have a keyboard or any electronics in front of you, don't look at it. Because it just might be too good of a Pepsi commercial for you. That's all I'm saying. All right. And if your grandparents are around, you should probably look at it. Because it'll relate. Watch it with grandparents. Yeah. Because they love Pepsi. They'll love Pepsi. Yes. And lemons. And lemons. Awesome. P.S. Don't go to that website. Do you think they made it this far? <laughs> I don't think they made it past Tango and K. Okay. Well, then everybody's Okay. Commander B. Hawkins signing off. All right. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>